YouTube, what's going on? Happy to see you for this Tuesday. Hope you're doing very well today. We're talking rarible.com. I'm going to teach you guys how to create an NFT and a collection on this particular website. They have a very unique feature and we're going to talk about it. Let's get to it. All right, we're going to move to the market real quick. Still bloody red, guys. Luna is down 70 percent guys 70.3 percent just to be exact going down as you can see guys apecoin down 36.7 percent as well ship is down almost 20 percent everything is down guys the market is still bloody red we are going to see one bright spot though that is trx up 11 percent almost 12 percent for the day that is the only bright spot i can see we're going to move on to the blue chips Bitcoin almost down by 20% guys, not looking good for Bitcoin. We're looking at a $31,000 Bitcoin. I really don't worry about Bitcoin because the bounce that is going to go upward pretty soon is going to be very dramatic. I don't worry about Bitcoin. Ethereum is doing the same thing as well, almost down 16%. It is at $2,300 for a particular token, $2,347 to be exact. We're gonna move on to what we're talking about today. Now you're looking at variable Dot com. This is going to be an NFT marketplace platform. This is a very easy situation that I'm going to teach you how to do if you're interested in creating NFTs and selling them on the market. This is a good choice for you beginners because Rarible offers a unique feature, a free minting ability. You don't have to pay for the minting. The actual buyer actually pays for the minting when he purchases your NFTs. Now, that's an option. You don't really have to use that option, guys. You could pay for the minting as well, but let's just say you're testing the waters. You're a new artist and you want to see how your work does on the actual marketplace. You can do this on rarible.com for free. You can mint for free and I'll tell you, we're going to walk you right through that. Now, of course, when you're creating a collection or an individual piece of artwork, there's one thing you're going to need and that is the actual artwork. Okay, so make sure you have all your artwork ready to go. It can be audibles. It can be actual art pieces. It can be 3D art, anything. NFT can be anything, guys, all right? As long as it's ready to go, preferably PNG, JPEG format, if you're dealing with actual still photos or an, a 3D art or anything like that. Uh, if you're going to do a video, MP4 is the best way to go when you're dealing with Rarible, pretty much anything. That is the best way to go. It's a nice compact file. You can do it in WAV format as well, but those are large files, guys. Loose files are large, and that is going to have an effect on your download and upload capabilities, okay? So just be mindful of that. We're gonna move on to the tutorial. Now, as you land on rarible.com, right? When you land on this site, it's gonna be rarible.com is what you're gonna do. I'll put that in descriptions as well. You're going to go right up here to the right-hand corner, and you're gonna click Create. Now. They give you four blockchains to actually use in order to mint your situation. You can use the Ethereum blockchain, which is going to be your more expensive situation. Your, your expensive choice is going to be there with ERC20. Now there's Flow, and then there's Tesos, and then there's Polygon. These three are the cheapest situations that you want to get yourself into. When you use Flow, Tesos, and Polygon, these are going to be your budget options, okay? That way, you can get into this situation. You can put your artwork on the market and see how it does, all right? Ethereum is gonna cost a little bit more. Right? I think the average uh, price is going to be between 17 to maybe 35 bucks. And I'm talking gas fees. It just depends on the time of the day. When you're dealing with the ERC20 blockchain, you wanna do it early in the morning, preferably between 12 a.m. to three in the morning. A lot of you guys have work, so you're not gonna be able to wait. So I would, I would definitely go with Flow polygon but you have choices with variable and that makes it a whole lot accessible and i'm talking market so we're going to go ahead and click on ethereum that's the dominant situation a lot of people use ethereum a lot of people don't use the others but i'm telling you if you're on a budget and you really want to mint and you don't want to use the free minting situation that they have here available on rarible.com you can use erc20 guys and you can mint with your own money you do as you please but there are options that's why i like rarible.com when you click that your actual blockchain you're going to go to choose the type if you're looking at minting a single situation single jpeg single audio file single video file you're going to click single multiples are going to be your actual collections okay so let's go with a single situation there's going to be a file situation right here in the middle it says upload file as you can see here now the acceptable file formats are png gif mp4 and mp3 you're going to choose a file we're going to we're going to choose this this is a warren buffett 
photo. We're not gonna actually mint this, but this is something that I did for a particular video. And we're just using this as an example, okay? We're gonna click that. And as you can see, it populated this upload file little section here on the actual uh, page here. Now you're going to go here to where it says put on marketplace. You're going to enter your situation here. Now, this is where you're gonna tell the system if you want to auction it, if you want to open it up for bits, or if you just want to put a fixed price on it and just put it online. There's not gonna be any fluctuations if you go fixed price. If you do open for bits, it's all, it's going to be up in the air. Whatever you accept is whatever you're gonna get paid for it, all right? Now the time auctions, you're gonna set a minimum bid and then you're gonna put it on auction. That's pretty self-explanatory. However long you want, I think a week is the longest before you have to reset the actual auction. But for a fixed price, you're just gonna enter the price here and then you're gonna go ahead and click what you want. Usually when you're dealing with fixed price, it's gonna be Ethereum. If you're doing an auction, you're gonna do wrapped Ethereum because that's an easier way to do that. There are other options rare, but you can actually accept wrap Ethereum for your fixed price uh, NFT. You can do a DAI, which is a, a native stable coin for the ERC20 uh, blockchain. And you can do USDC as well. You can get paid in USDC. That's why I like variable. There's options here. I prefer USDC. It's very, very simple and it's a stable coin. So I would use a stable coin here for payment, all right? And of course, you can go down there and select your collection. With a single piece, you're not going to be doing ERC721. I would use the variable collection tag right here. It's perfectly okay. Now, this is where you pick where if you want to free mint it or if you want to pay the minting price up front. I would go with the free minting if you're new to this. If you're just trying to test the waters, I would definitely go with the free minting. This is very, very cool because you can mint this totally for free. And whenever it's bought, the buyer pays the minting. This is very, very cool, especially for the newcomers. It's a very good way to test the waters. And I think Rarible did it very well. I like what they're doing here with the free minting. Now, of course, you have other options. This is with the t-shirt. If you want to have a t-shirt, your NFT put on a t-shirt, you can actually put the logo on the t-shirt and you can type it whatever you want on that particular situation. You have a description tab as well. And here is where you're going to set your royalties. Your royalties are going to be set here. Now you can go up to 50%. I wouldn't recommend that. Uh, five to 10% is really good. 10% is really good as well. I wouldn't go past 10 guys because you want the buyer to actually make a profit as well. You don't want to be stealing profits too much profit. You don't want to be greedy, okay? So 10% is good, all right? You can go 20, but I would go 10. It's fair, all right? And then after that, you're going to click here to create your item. And once it's created, you can go back and you can see what's going on with the mini process. And you can do this over and over and over again, guys. And that's essentially a single mint. And you basically do this the same way when you're doing collections, all right? The only different thing is you're gonna create an ERC-1155. That is going to be your collection. And this is gonna be a whole lot more expensive because you're creating a collection board. Rarity traits are gonna be involved. There's a lot involved when creating a collection per se versus a single piece, all right? So be mindful of that. This is rareable, guys. It's very, very simple. And I just wanted to bring that to you. If you have any other questions, please hit me up. And you can also hit me up at Twitter at CryptoInterface.com. If you have any other questions about actually creating a collection or a single piece, I will be glad to help you. That is all. Have a great day. Take care of your money and your family. And most importantly, yourself. We'll see you.